Welcome back to the channel guys and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you real quick how to make snow procedurally in Blender. So this has some limitations because it's not like you know physical displacement on the ground or anything or falling particles but you can take any object like in this case I'm using a dragon with an existing material and then you can kind of procedurally fake it so it looks like it has some sort of powdered snow that has fallen on the top and we're going to be taking advantage of the normal feature that comes with the geometry node right and so you know go ahead grab an object you want with an existing material and i'll walk you through the process real quick it's not going to take too long and hopefully you guys can put this to use in some kind of upcoming project where you need snow on your object so let's jump in so if you're following along with this, you could use whatever object you want, as long as it has a material. So it could just be the Suzanne monkey head, for example, with a principal shader. The idea here is we're gonna take one type of material and blend it with another one. So I'm assuming you have a object with a material output and a material. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go shift a search and just get a principled. And this principled is gonna be for now our placeholder snow. For now, we're just gonna make this a bright pink so eventually when we mix the two materials together, the two shaders, with a mix shader, we can actually see at first where it is. It just makes it a bit easier. So we're gonna go Shift A, search, and we're now gonna grab a mix shader. This mix shader should be feeding into the surface of the material output. And let's take these two materials and let's plug them into here. So one's going into the bottom, that's gonna be our snow over here. And then that's just gonna be your main material, whatever material your object is made out of, right? So now let's find a way to mix these two. So we're gonna go Shift A, search, and we're gonna get a geometry by typing in geometry. And now we can take this normal information here and put it to use. So if we were to actually go you know, into our rendered view and we were to preview this on the normal, so we're previewing the normal, um, you can see this is what we have. So what we're gonna do is so we're gonna go Shift A, search, and get a mix node, not a mix shader, but a mix node. We're gonna put it on here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and change it to color. Make sure that the normal is actually going into the top socket here. And now this is kind of what we're getting here. So we've got the normal going into the top socket here, A. And now it's this is kind of what we can see. So we wanna now take this normal information and we wanna separate it. So what we're gonna do that is we're gonna go Shift A, search, and we're gonna get a separate. We're gonna get a separate X, Y, Z. And now we can separate these components here. And one we want to separate is the Z. So going up and down like this. So let's separate that. So this is what we have now. Okay, so you can see here, we're just previewing it. And we have the white value at the top and the darker value at the bottom. And we can actually take advantage of that now and use that as a way of distributing something that looks like it's fallen from the top like snow. Otherwise, it wouldn't make sense if we had any other sort of kind of normal direction. We're then gonna um, adjust this by going Shift A, search and getting a color ramp node. Because at the moment, this is way too much. And we can tighten these values by bringing the black in and then bringing this white down like so. And now you can see wherever the white is here, that is where our snow is gonna be and wherever it's black, that's gonna be our first main material. So we can now actually take this. So we have two materials here. They're going into a mix shader. And we can now take these four nodes we've created and take the color output and plug it into the factor. So now if we take the mix shader, put it into the surface here, you can see now that this temporary pink material is actually on the top. So if you were to look from the top view, you can see that you're seeing a lot of pink here. And that kind of shows us that this is working. But if you look from the front, right on or the side, you can see there's not a lot of pink. So we kind of have this distribution that looks like it's coming from the top. And now we can take advantage of that and let's come to our base color here and make it white. Already it's starting to look very snowy, but we can make it look even better. So let's go Shift A, search and get a noise texture. And let's go Shift A, search and get a color ramp. Let's plug the noise into the color ramp here. And then we're gonna go Shift A search and get a bump node. And let's take the color and plug it into the height. And then let's take this normal and plug it into the normal of our snow material here. What you can do here is you can drag the scale all the way up and make it a lot more fine. And you can see here, this is kind of the result we're getting at the moment. 
looking a little bit rough. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the detail, drag it up and also the roughness we're going to drag up as well. And there that's already looking a lot better. Now we're just going to come here to the roughness and bring it down. So it's a little bit more reflective, but not too reflective. We're then going to come here to the strength and just take it down just a little bit. So it's not too intense on the height. And now you have some light snow. And that's it. That's how easy it is to kind of add the snow. So if you have a model, you should now be able to kind of see the snow on top of it. Some of the limitations of this obviously is that it's not um, very thick, but you know, it's just kind of a cool way you could very quickly in a scene add something that looks like powdered snow on top of your objects. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick tutorial and I'll see you next time for another Blender quickie or a long one, whatever comes first.